And then there's Carousel of Progress, which I really wish I was allowed to film inside because there's a lot to say about it. Disney built this for General Electric's display at the 1964 World's Fair, and then it was at Disneyland's Tomorrowland until the mid-70s when it was physically moved to Walt Disney World. This makes it not only the oldest attraction at Disney World, but also the only one Walt Disney actually touched. Quick, try and catch his aura! Like Spaceship Earth, there have been several revisions and versions of this over the years, but they've all showed several scenes of a family throughout various points in history, led by a patriarch currently voiced by the Christmas Story guy. Since I don't have any footage, I'll just have to reenact them. Hey, hey, yes sir, we sure do live in a golden age here in either 1904, 1927, 1940-something, or the 80s idea of the near future. I just love talking about the groundbreaking technological advancements that went into these old-timey common household items that I use every day. And I hear tell I'm about to name drop some famous historical figure who's planning something big for next year. But I think they'll never amount to a thing. My family sure interrupts me a lot. Women, am I right? Also, I think this show contains a scene where my son's looking at my porn. That's kind of weird. Yes, technology has reached its peak here in the distant past, and it's absolutely impossible that things will ever get any better than they are right now. There's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow, shining on the end of every day. The gimmick that makes Carousel of Progress different is that the scenes don't change on stage, the audience room rotates around the stage. It's just enough of a ride to definitely not be considered a real ride. Despite all of its cheesiness, it has a genuine charm and optimism, and the theme by the Sherman Brothers is just as catchy as Small World, but not nearly as annoying. 